Hey guys, Mood again. Um, I'm going to show you a few things that I've been uh, working on. They're super simple and uh, I can do full tutorials of them later, but I'll show you real quick. Let me click that. That way that's done right there. Then we'll go over here. And uh, this was actually my raising bridge. Check it out. Boom. Look at that. You just click that down. There you go. Uh, this is how I wired it. So this is just like that. And then we go around like this. And you want to put a repeater on every single block on this side. And you want to put it all the way out to three because, or uh, four, sorry. Well, whatever the max level is. Because you want it to raise at the relative same level as, or same time as the other side. And then to extend it, you're going to want to wire it like this. Let you get a good look at that. <clears throat> and that's so you can go as far as you want without the redstone running out. So basically just do the exact same for the other side. Now you're wanna, gonna want to leave all of these on the first tick. That way, you know, like I said, it raises at the relative same time. It'll still be a little off. You can add more repeaters if you like, but I do it this way. It, it still looks pretty good. So, And then again, this is just the same as the other side. And that's it for that tutorial, or that uh, design. I'll show you that that still works. Boom, see? All right, now we're going to go over here. And this is my uh, uh, sugar cane farm. Basically, you just pop, push the button. There you go, and you can walk through here and then do, do, do. Now you can make the water flow whichever way you want to drag the sugar cane to you, but it's not really necessary. It takes two seconds to walk. So, okay, what I did was I took the button, I wired it up, go down here, and then I raised it up a block, and I wired repeaters all the way in, and did the exact same thing I did with the bridge. I put these, this side, all the way on three, and then... You can put the repeater right there and uh, it'll still be powered from that block. So you can just drag it on here, put repeaters in as necessary, and then same thing except for you leave this side on the regular setting. So that's that one. Alright, now I'm going to go show you the door. All right, now imagine this is all in a mountain or in your basement or whatever you want to do in your house. You just flip that button and then all this redstone starts working and that closes up there, closing off the lava. And this pushes in right here, which makes you a pathway to walk. All right, and I'll show you how I did this. Okay, I ran two redstone wires, one straight off the block where the switch is. And then I ran one all the way over here, powered this uh, block, which powers this, or which, uh, right now it's deactivated. And then basically reverses it up here and pushes that piston out. And here what we did is, because if you let it, if you just put a wire straight to this other piston, it... Uh, it will close too fast and then you'll have lava everywhere. So what you want to do is you want to cut it off when it's at least on this block because then it won't uh, flow everywhere. So you just put all these on the third setting. You, you can use as many as you want. This really depends on what design you're going to go with or where it's placed. So, And then really after that you can just cover everything up as necessary and no one has to even know it's there. So, there you go, and I'll show you what it looks like when you click it back. See how that starts falling, and then this block pulls out to allow the lava to go straight down. And then nobody can get through here to get whatever it is that you want to hide behind it. Now, obviously, they're going to see the switch, so you're going to want to hide the switch in a decent place or use a uh, thing that makes you. Draw, or a pressure plate makes you drop it on there and then hit the switch. Uh, that way nobody knows where you know your pressure plate thing is or 
one ever. So, but those are the two tutorials or three um, designs that I was going to show you guys. Been working on for a little bit. So, I don't know if anybody else has already used these designs or not. I usually try to just come up with my own thing. And if somebody uses the design, it's completely by accident, not by um, any association. Now, I did take two ideas that you already know of. I used the cobblestone generator and uh, the wheat farm for um, two people on the internet. So, all right. Well, that's it for this episode. I uh, hope you liked it. If you did, thumbs up, rate, la da da da, subscribe. All right. Thanks, guys.